So how I normally approach a, a project when I'm invited by an institution, a museum, you know, public or private collection, is uh, I sit at my kitchen table and with a manual, old manual typewriter, which has got, the, I've used the same ribbon from the beginning of writing the groups of proposals. So I've, it's been my main way of working since 2005, 2006, although I've been writing them since 1997 as a group of works or a way to approach making work. And so I sit there with a, with a typewriter, with a blank piece of paper, and I, uh, I begin to type. And I, the first thing I type is the header, which is the address to who the proposal's written to. Um, and then once I've done the first line of the address or the header, um, and I return down, then I write the second line. But if I then notice a mistake in the first line, I can't go back and correct it. So all the proposals are written once. And so you get these sort of um, unintuitive but slightly uh, uh, intuitive mistakes. They, just, they are just part of the typing. Sometimes it's letters in the wrong order, or sometimes it's just my bad spelling or punctuation. And so the way the work works from that point is that some of these proposals are then realized into physical works like the free signs or like uh, some of the performance based works inviting comedians into the space or having um, the gallery attendants read out the labels or um, the free poster which is you know the, the front of the old uh, the first ever catalog for the white chapel and so they they they, they really m the work that's that work that exists as physical objects beyond the proposals is, in my mind, is no more in important than the work that just stays as text on the page because there comes a point where the work then exists in, who, in the mind of whoever's reading it. So it's not important that I say, you know, it's very, I hope it's very open work.